Tomorrow, it will be three weeks since 11-month-old Lisa Irwin disappeared. Tonight, there are new questions about the night she was reported missing. Christina Medina puts it in focus for us. Good evening. Well, we're standing in front of the Irwin family home. You can still see some signs behind me as well as some teddy bears in the front yard. And there have now been two reported sightings of a man with a baby near the area, as well as some new surveillance video of a man walking out of some nearby woods. People who live close to baby Lisa want to hear good news. They said that there's three people, I guess, looking for or seeing the baby with the guy. This is a positive. The new report comes from this BP gas station at North Brighton in Parvin Road, which is about four blocks from the Irwin family home. The owner shared surveillance video that captured someone walking out of the woods around 2:15 the same morning baby Lisa's parents said she disappeared. The image is hard to make out, so we went back to that same spot to see what we saw. The wooded spot is about 100 yards away from the camera. The clerk tells me it's the only camera pointed in the south Southwest direction. And the clerk tells me it's rare to see people walking out of those woods because there is so much heavy brush. The attorney for baby Lisa is calling this a third eyewitness spotting. Three independent witnesses were at one time or another after midnight, after two in the morning, see a, a male carrying a baby in October with no nothing on but a diaper. The other two reported spottings 12:15 a.m. at 36 and North Chelsea Avenue down the street from where the baby disappeared. Appeared. And then around four further away on the 4800 block of North Randolph, another reported sighting of a man with a baby. Just hope to God they do find the little baby, but I just think it's grim right now. Neighbors keep watching every development, hoping something will crack the case and find baby Lisa. I did speak to police tonight and they tell me they can't talk about specifics regarding the case, but they do say that early on in the investigation, they did receive several reports about a man walking around in the area with a baby. Reporting live in the Northland tonight, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.